Hi guys, so today's video is going to be about what's in my travel makeup bag. Given that I am a mom, I usually pack for about two to three people, sometimes including my husband, um, whenever we go on a trip. So today I wanted to share with you my travel makeup essentials when we do go on a trip. So this is the makeup bag that I own and it's from 31 Gifts. I've had this for about two years and I like it because it's just the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's perfect as a weekender but also for like long-term or week-long vacations. This video is in partnership with 31 Gifts and my friend Victoria, who is a 31 Gifts consultant, has graciously agreed to sponsor a small giveaway in my channel. If you haven't heard already, 31 Gifts sells bags, handbags, home, travel accessories, and all sorts of organizational products that you can buy for yourself, for the home, the family, or even gift it to someone else. Like this one was gifted to me. I've been using it every time my family and I travel. I'm excited to show you guys what I bring, and so stay tuned for that. So definitely stay tuned at the end of this video to see what you could win for this giveaway. Hint, hint. And so with that said, let's get started. These two cases right here is all that I'm bringing with me for the trip. Um, and I love this case because it's nice and compact and it's not too big, not too small, and it will work for anybody and you don't have to be a makeup lover. If you don't carry a lot of makeup, you can put other things in here like your skincare, a little bit of your toiletries. Let me set this aside first, okay? So this is my makeup brush case and um i carry all of my brushes here i believe i got this case from staples um i it's actually a pencil case i was school supply shopping for my kids one day and i noticed this it was long enough for like um you know long brushes like these see this is a full size brush not a mini or travel size brush and so it was long enough i like that it, it had some kind of structure at the bottom um, and if i place it perfectly inside my suitcase you know where it's in a certain niche it doesn't really get you know crushed it has some sort of support and this is the makeup bag by 31 i've had it for about two years the perfect size i mean you don't have to be a makeup lover like myself maybe you have a smaller collection of makeup than me you can still use this for all sorts of things maybe to store a few of your makeup items and also some of your um, skincare items you can even use this to store medicine that you bring with you to the trip um, I know with kids, I have a separate medicine bag, you know, for allergies and special cases. This is roomy enough for someone who brings tons of makeup, who's obsessed with makeup like myself, but also just compact and small enough for just the average person. So let's get started. So I got this beauty blender container because I used to put my beauty blender in a Ziploc bag, believe it or not, because when it's wet, I didn't want it to wet my you know makeup products in the bag but i don't want it to be just out here inside the bag because it might get ripped or it might get dirty from the other makeup items when your beauty blender expands and you know you wet it it still fits here perfectly and you can either you know keep it big like this or small and compact like this when it's dry so love that it has holes to let the beauty blender breathe. Perfect for travel. Usually, I just need two primers. The pore minimizing primers and my Cover FX mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. So I love, love these for that. Um, as far as primers go, I also have this Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. What I like about it, it has this pink tint to it, which really helps with the dark circles under the eyes. I immediately notice a big difference when I put this on under my eyes. The black circles, dark spots disappear and it gets the eyes ready for makeup application. For foundation, I bring different ones depending on 
where I'm traveling to that day. This one's a BB cream. If I'm gonna be at the beach or outdoors at a theme park, I like to bring lighter coverage foundations. Um, this one, L'Oreal 24R Breathable uh, Fresh Wear Foundation is great. You can have medium to full coverage. It's not too matte. It's perfect for oily skin. The BB cream has a darker tan shade, which I like to mix with the L'Oreal if I do get darker during the trip. I just love the combination of these two. After foundation is concealer. So I have two types of concealers that I bring with me. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, Concealer and also the Maybelline Fit Me concealer from the drugstore in the shade 30. I like this one for covering my blemishes. So this one I use the I use it for brightening under the eyes. When I'm out I bring a lip balm. I have two with me today. The Aquaphor lip repair which I like. It has SPF I think 30. Really great um, lip balm for the summertime. This one is from Pixie and it's the nourishing lip polish so i like to use this either at night because it has those little bristles i don't know if you guys can tell this is also great right before makeup when you want to exfoliate your lips so i bring eyeshadows depending on what i'm wearing for the trip and so i kind of have an idea i haven't really planned my outfit yet but i've got three different eyeshadows so i have the morphe one this one is great i love the colors in here it's not too bright, it's not too glittery, but really pigmented, easy to work with. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, also, I have this MAC um, palette. They're not all MAC shadows. There's some ColourPop shadows here, but yeah, I like them because it has some of my favorite colors. Oh, this one, you guys. I don't think this is mentioned enough, but this is called Expensive Pink. It is perfect for someone with a medium skin tone. It has this, it's like a peachy peach color, but it has, you know, a different shift to it, kind of like a raspberry shift to it. It's such a great flattering color on the eyelids, and it's a really brightening color. I got this one also, the purple, in case I need a purple. And this one is like a greenish gold. I don't know. I just had to bring the basics. A purple, a gold, some pinks, some oranges. And then I have this MAC Sweet as Cocoa blush. Um, I don't know if you've seen my empties videos, but that was one of the blushes that, you know, I really used up a lot, but it was getting old, so I had to get rid of it, and I got me a new one. So I love this perfect, like, brownie, um, bronzy blush my color. My newer... Um, palette the dose of colors x desi and katie friendcation palette so i love love this palette I, it's just a perfect travel palette really but it has the the greenish gold the blues the purples and then it has all your transition shades the cool tones and the warm tones so i like that and then of course you have that shimmer and then i really like raspberry pinky reddish colors for my eyelids so i like that a lot so i had to bring that i know it's a bit much though i love those palettes they're nice and small perfect for going on a trip i also bring setting spray so i have a travel size the urban decay all nighter it keeps your makeup on for a really long time so i love this setting spray um, I have a bigger bottle and I like to just open this and refill it over and over so I don't really have to keep buying the travel size because they're still expensive guys. So. I haven't bought the travel size Smashbox primer water. I just bought this um, bottle spray from Target or Walmart I believe and just filled it up with my Smashbox primer water. Okay for mascara I have to have my favorite uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise mascara. And this is in the color Blackest Black, I believe, S304. Yes, Blackest Black. And this is waterproof. When I go to the beach, I like to wear the waterproof kind. Ah. And then, of course, I have the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. 
I wish I had the travel size, but I gave it to my friend because I wanted to try it. It's a great mascara for volumizing and lengthening. So for highlighter, since I'm gonna be in the sun a lot, I know I'm gonna be a little bit more tan. So I got this Maybelline Master Chrome uh, Metallic Highlighter. It is so illuminating, great highlighter, also for medium skin tone. It's like a champagne-y gold color. Really great, affordable highlighter from the drugstore. For bronzer, I brought my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So I like the gray tone of it because it's good for contouring, but also I like that um, it's a matte bronzer. So I don't like too much shimmer on my face other than the highlight because I naturally get oily throughout the day. And then, of course, we can't forget blush. And this time I'm bringing, you know, more of a peachy brush and a cool tone brush. I like to combine them together to get that perfect pop of pink. So this is Jouer's Adore Blush Duo. So I love it in the color Adore Me and Hold Me. According to my cousin who's a makeup artist, um, she said that peachy blushes kind of are great to look kind of tanned and give you that summer kissed look so i thought i'd bring that and of course for more natural days i have my mac um, blush with me so i think that's all i really need as far as blush so for lip liner i'm just bringing my bite lipstick in the color 034 so it looks kind of like a um raspberry red or deep raspberry color i got it because i was thinking i would pair it up with this crazy glossy shimmery uh, liquid lipstick from anastasia and this is in the color saint tropez it has that hint of champagne gold color i think it would be perfect for vacation and of course i'm bringing my nudie pink lipstick from too faced it is in the color sellout and may as well bring my favorite mauve lipstick from Maybelline which is the mauve for me and I actually have a video of my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore so check that out if you have time click on the link above for brows honestly i don't do my brows when i'm on vacation no one has time for that i mean i'd rather use that time to you know ponytail my daughter's hair <laughs> i have a lot of eyebrows so what i like to do is just maintain the shape and the, and then just go in with a brow gel a tinted brow gel this one is from anastasia in the color chocolate oh here's another lip liner that i bought for the more natural uh lip colors this is from ColourPop in the color bff so I like this color because it kind of cancels out the dark brown line that goes around my lips. So I like to cancel that out first before I apply lipstick. So this is great for that. Pencil sharpener. So this one is from Anastasia. And I can't believe this is last on my list. This is Laura Mercier's Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I really love that. It's nice and small. And of course, this is my eyelash curler from Tarte. Oh, I forgot my MAC lipstick. This one, I thought if I wanted to go bright, you know, sometimes you just want to have a simple look with um no eyeshadow and just a um mascara on and then a really bright lipstick this is the marvelous moxie color from mac really popular color um normally i don't gravitate towards this hot pink fuchsia color but it actually works for my skin tone really excited for these colors in the summertime so, so we still have my eyeliners I brought my e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner, gel eyeliner with me. This is really black for these that I want a black eyeliner. But also on vacation, I tend to bring, again, color, which this time I decided to bring Marc Jacobs in the color 
out of the boot. I have these two little deluxe or mini size perfumes, the Daisy Dream. Smells really good. I have a little one ounce bottle of this, love it. The Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. This is kind of more of a sweet scent, more mature scent for sure. Also, did you guys like how I didn't use this for makeup brushes? I use it for lip liners, liners, concealers, any kind of like thinner to makeup products. I like to put it in here because I like to keep my makeup brushes separate. And so that's how I use this makeup brush holder. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up this video if you liked it or learned something. So now I'm sure you are really excited to see what you could possibly win in this giveaway. It is the exact same travel makeup bag that I own, but in a different color. You could win a Glamour travel case in the color Origami Pop. I love the colors in this bag actually, so it's perfect for travel. It's a lot brighter and fun. In order to win the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Also, go into Victoria's Facebook page. You can see all sorts of great deals from 31 Gifts. She posts on that Facebook page regularly for deals, so be on the lookout for that. Please comment down below your Instagram handle or some kind of way for me to get a hold of you in case you are the winner. Comment on this video. And finally, this giveaway is open to US residents only. All of the details for the giveaway and the instructions on how to enter are gonna be in the description box below. So go down there and read about it and that way you can be entered for the drawing. You have until the end of June to enter the giveaway and then after that, I will select a winner and mail that cute travel makeup bag. And again, I just wanna say thank you to Victoria for sponsoring this giveaway. It means the world to me. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Why not? You can have a chance to enter into the giveaway. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye.